Many years ago, Mr Chapman and Mr Hake were on a visit to South Devon, and, as usual, they had very little money. Before the time for their return to Barnstaple, Mr Hake handed Mr Chapman his railway fare, retaining his own. Knowing his loving readiness to impart to others, he asked him more than once if he had the money all right, but only received the reply, Our father knows all about it. On the way to the station, Mr. Hake again asked about it, and with some hesitation, Mr. Chapman confessed that he had been to see a sister, who, being ill, was in need of some little luxury, and he had given her what money he had to procure it. Mr. Hake said, I expected you would be doing something of that kind. What are you going to do? He received the same reply. Our father knows all about it. Just before the train drew up, a friend came hurrying to the station and expressing regret for being late said, Here's a guinea for you, Mr. Chapman, and one for you, Mr. Hake. Mr. Hake said he felt greatly ashamed to think that Mr. Chapman had so much more faith than himself. On one occasion, when Mr. Chapman and Mr. Fisher were leaving Leo Minster, neither of them had any money. Mr. Chapman had received some money while there, but had given it to a needy brother in the meeting. They walked to the station, and on the way, Mr. Fisher said, Uh, I, I have no money. Mr. Chapman, with his usual calmness, answered, To whom does the money belong, and the cattle upon a thousand hills? When they reached the station, a gentleman got out of a train, gave Mr. Chapman a five-pound note, saying, I have had this in my pocket for you for some time, and am glad to meet you, and got in again. Mr. Chapman said to his companion, Dear brother, will you take the tickets? And after a time said again, To whom does the money belong? This excerpt was from Chapter 20, Faith and Thanksgiving, of the audiobook Robert Cleaver Chapman of Barnstaple. Listen to the full audiobook on scrollreader.com.